In this tutorial, I will create fireworks over the top of the Sydney Opera House using standard filters within GIMP. It'll, it'll appear similar to this, though the fireworks are bursting out over the Opera House. So I'll we'll close this off and we'll open our GIMP. First we need to start a new canvas or a template. In this case we need, need it to be a square one, so we change the, the width to 400 pixels and then click OK. The first thing I need to do is to add an alpha channel. So I right click the top layer and add an alpha channel. That will give me transparency later on. Now I go and fill it with black. Now I use the bucket fill tool and fill it with black. Next thing I do, I go up to filters and noise and HSV noise. I add that. Now in the little dialog we change our value up to the maximum, 255 and click OK. Now we go to filters, distort and wind. In the wind filter uh, dialog we turn the direction to the right. So we click on the right radio button and then click OK. We'll leave everything else at the default setting. Now I go to image and transform. I rotate the image 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now I return to filter, distorts and polar coordinates. Leave everything at the default setting which is mapped from the top and to polar. Click OK. Now you can see the importance of the importance of putting in an alpha channel. It gives me that transparency I needed. I need transparency with inside the explosion appearance there. So I go to my select by colour tool and click on the black. Somewhere anywhere in the black. Now I just hit the delete key on the keyboard and that removes all that black in that image. Now I go to select and select none. I go to colours and colour balance. Now in the colour balance dialog I turn the cyan up to the red, or fairly high up on the red, and turn the yellow down just a little to give it a bit more colour there and then click OK. Now I have my explosion of the fireworks. I can save that as a brush. If I go to file and save as and then you need to go into your folder which in this case is Max there and you see the GIMP folder click on the GIMP folder and in the brushes you need to add the brush. Give it a name and you need the extension I'll just click on that one to bring it up the top. You need the extension GBO, otherwise it won't put it in the brush folder. But I won't save it as a brush. I'll use another method. I'll go and copy it to the clipboard. When you copy something to the clipboard, it makes it a temporary brush. So over here in our brush dialog, you can see the brush temporary sitting there. Now I go over to the file and put our, bring our Opera House in. So I go to Open or open a recent image because it makes it easier to have to go through and find it in your folders. Click on and open that one. Enlarge the window. Now we have two windows now. Now everything's still selected and the clipboard's still there. Now I go and add a, a new layer and it'll be a transparency. That's so I can put other things in later on and also put uh, an explosion behind or um, fireworks behind the Opera House. I click on my paintbrush tool and I select, make sure I've got that one selected and I go in there and just click once and now you can see the fireworks. Now I put in a smaller one as though it's in the distance just using the square bracket keys, the left hand one, click once 
and now we, and I just put one small one behind the sails on the opera house roof put one there now you can see now that it's partly on the opera house I want it behind the opera house so working with I'm going to choose a brush and I've got the eraser and I now just erase that around there and that gives you the appearance that's behind the opera house now I'll go back and I'll put a colour one in I'll open up the other window of this one right click the top layer and add alpha to the selection that selects it all I'll go to my blend tool and choose the rainbow type of blend which is the full saturation click on that one I go to my shape and I choose radial I just place it in the center and drag it out that gives it a nice color go to select and select none go back to edit and copy that to the clipboard now I bring up the Sydney Opera House once again go to the brush tool and scroll to the top for the temporary brush there's my temporary brush and I enlarge it just a little using the square bracket key and I put it over on the right hand side now I've got a nice color explosion of the fireworks now all you need to do now is right click the top layer and flatten image and you can save it as normal then so thank you for watching and rate my video you can find a hard copy of this on a PDF format if you go to my channel that's the click on the uh, channel button there it's the web page link is over on the right hand side in my channel